when you see sine and cosine equals to 0, 1, negative 1, you cannot use basic angle. You have to use the graph to justify. If you are not very confident of the graph, please go and review the uh, graph videos. So when it is 1, 90. When it is 0, there's three values. 0, 180, and 360. And when it is negative 1, it is 270. Okay, so if you have 0, 1, negative 1, we have to just write down the values can already. Okay, then there's one part that's missing that is if tangent x equals to 0, then you have x is equal to 0, uh, 180, and as, as well as 360. Okay, now if this times this is equal to 0, what does it mean? Uh, it means that sine x equals to 0 or cos x equals to negative 1. Okay, sine x equals to 0, immediately plug in the value 0, 180, 360, as well as if cosine x equals to 1, if you cannot visualize, then let's draw out. Oh, negative 1 is here, da, 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 da. this one is 180, so x equals to 180. 180 is a repeated value, so therefore the final answer is x equals to 0, 180, okay, as well as 360. Okay, next one is if you see that there is a three terms one two three okay very obvious is going to be a quadratic equation let y equals to cosecant x you will have y square equals to y plus six y square minus y minus six equals to zero y minus three y plus 2 equals to 0, y equals to 3, or y equals to negative 2. Don't be too happy yet, okay? Be don't just leave the answer here. Because you have let cosecant x to be y, you now have to pl place it back. You must write the word or. The word or is very important, okay? Or cosecant x equals to negative 2. You flip both sides. Sine x equals to 1 over 3, or sine x equals to negative half then now pick your quadrant okay this is in first and second first and second quadrant okay so basic angle equals to inverse sine 1 over 3 and the question is asking for radian so i put inverse inverse sine 1 over 3 Okay, and you are going to get 0 0.340. 0 0.340. Then x is in 0 0.340. The other one would be pi minus 0 0.340. Okay, sine x equals to half. Do you remember half is in a special angle table? Then the basic angle is inverse sine half. When you inverse sine half, if you know that it's going to be 30 degree, then you know that it's going to be called pi over 6. Okay, this is in the third and fourth quadrant because of sine is negative, x is equal to pi plus pi over 6, 2 pi minus pi over 6, and you will have 5 pi over 6, comma, uh, 11 pi over 6. Remember to evaluate this. Sorry, let's evaluate this together. 0 0.340 and comma. Use the ANS function. Pi minus ANS equals to 2.80. 2.80. And these are your four answers. Okay. If you can form a quadratic equation. Okay. When you do trigo equation, never ever divide away a, a, a trigo function so you see you can bring you bring this over to the denominator it will divide and then you cancel cancel away this part is wrong because there will be one answer missing okay so when you have two terms like that bring it over like a minus 3 sine x then you factorize ah then you realize that oh sine x equals to 0 remember must use your graph this means that x equals to 0 180 as well as 360 for sine and cosine curve, anything more than 1 on, or less than negative 1, right? Uh, this one, no solution. Okay, and this is how these are the basics solving trigo equations technique.